All right, we're checking out a bunch of new products here from Anchor. This is from their new lineup um, that features GAN Prime, uh, which is basically new technology that makes their chargers and other power products uh, lighter, smaller, and more efficient. So this is a new technology. It's, it's actually been featured in a lot of other similar chargers from other brands. It's uh, based on gallium nitride technology. And um, they're combining this with something called Power IQ, which sort of intelligently distributes the power across different ports on some of these devices. I don't have all of them. These are just, I think, five of, uh, I think there's at least six in this series, possibly more. I'm pretty sure that I'm missing a bunch of them. If you guys know which ones I'm missing, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I think one of them is at least a power bank and there's another charger as well. So anyway, just gonna sort of get a taste of what their products are like. Of course, you know, Anchor is uh, very well known as a pretty reliable brand. I'm pretty happy that uh, I get to work with them. Um, you know, they're very, uh, you know, in terms of a brand, I think that they're well received by most people. They do sell quite a bit on Amazon and um, they have fairly reasonable prices for the quality of, of the products and the, the, the products they have, the kind of features that they have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and tear right into all these. We'll see what these look like. All right, so this one here is the Anchor 615. Now the numbers on this, um, the, the series of products, I'm not 100% sure what the uh, numbering scheme is exactly. So if you happen to figure it out, let me know. I They don't really seem to have any sort of um, system in terms of the numbering, but yeah, this is called the 615. You can see it's a power strip. Um, and it has uh, the GAN Prime up to 65 watts. I believe that's on the uh, USB-C, which has power delivery, and we have the Power IQ uh, feature on this one. And if you want to check out the specs here on the side of the box, I can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read up on that. Okay, so we got like, it looks like a power strip with some USB-C and USB-A ports on here. And we get a small user's manual. And here's a quick look at the manual. So we got a little warning label here. Got some protective film here. Gonna peel that off. Quick look at the outside here. We got your GAN Prime labeling. It's a little cover here for the extension cord. So we have a three outlet plug here and the front and the back. And I think to get in here, we just lift this up. So just flip up that little cover here, it's made of silicone. And we can go ahead and unwind our extension cord. Yeah, so the extension cord seems to be about um, around four feet, it seems. But yeah, this is a nice little compact, it makes it more compact, but obviously you can, um, this is gonna be really good for travel. And then gives you two extra outlets, as well as the uh, USB-A and USB-C ports. And then these uh, ports here, this IQ technology is actually distributes that 65 watts of power over the three ports. So uh, we'll kind of figure out which one's using the most power and distribute that intelligently. I believe the uh, USB-A is a USB 3.0 or quick charge 3.0 only. And then the two USB-C ports are power delivery and you get a total of 65 watts over all three ports. And it's very easy to wrap it up and put the cover back on and put it back into your bag for this is gonna be really good for travel. All right, so this is the 727 charging station, and this one here goes up to 100 watts. Power IQ 3.0, and it's got, the, of course, the GAN Prime technology in it. Quick look at the specs here on the side of the box. If you wanna pause the video, you can read up on all the numbers. And in the back of the box here, just do give a little bit of an explanation here of what the GAN Prime is all about. Here, stack design, power IQ, the gallium nitride, of course, and the Active Shield 2.0. And it explains here what the Active Shield 2.0 is. It's basically real time protection, monitors the temperature, and adjusts power output so that uh, you don't blow up stuff. Pretty nice. And typical anchor presentation here on the box. Basically, you have your, they kind of show the item inside here, and then all the accessories are underneath. And again, you get a small user's guide and nice little diagrams on what everything is. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a closer look at the manual. And basically the only two things in here are the power cord itself and the 
uh, I believe they just call this the charging station. It's basically a glorified extension or power strip. But if we can see here, it's really thin. So if you look at the, this is the depth of a plug. It's, you know, it, that three prong, it's actually thinner than the plug itself. So I believe from what I remember, it pops up somehow. So the other end of the power cord that goes into the power station, or the, it looks like this, it's keyed, so it can only go in one way. So this is probably something you don't want to lose. And it looks like this. Just plug it in here. Yeah, as I suspected, as you plug it in, this raises up. And that's how it's able to be thinner than the actual plug itself. And when you pull the plug out, it just goes back down. So in addition, of course, to the two um, regular AC plugs there, you get the 100 watts of um, charging of capability here via USB-C and USB-A. And the different combinations of the, how the 100 watts are distributed were actually here on the side of the box here, obviously in different combinations, 65 watts plus 30 watts, etc. And they're going to show you all these different combinations here, up to 100 watts total. So yeah, go ahead and pause the video if you forgot to take a look at this. It's kind of interesting, you know, basically you're combining a power strip here along with the ability to, uh, you know, uh, have like a 100 watt USB-C uh, charger built into the power strip itself. So instead of having a power strip if you're traveling and then carrying an additional charger as well. It's all built into one elegant unit and uh, you know, obviously pulls apart. So, it, you know, you can, I believe they've even sell uh, cases for this one where you can take it for travel. You know, obviously it breaks down less so and pretty good for travel if you need 100 watts of charging set, which will probably uh, charge up most smaller notebooks and obviously uh, lots of other uh, smart devices, tablets, and phones, etc. Okay, so this is one of the smaller ones. This is the uh, 735 charger. Okay, so here's what you get in the box. You get the charger itself. You get a user's guide, and then you get this little adapter. I'm not sure what they call this, but here's a little guide on how to use it. Obviously, it's to help hold the charger into the wall. Because a lot of these chargers with the folding plug will tend to be get pulled out of the wall, that's what that's for. And let's go ahead and take peel off some of this stickers. Yeah, but essentially, I think it goes in something like this. So you put the adapter on like so, it's like a little collar. And let's just pretend this is a wall outlet. We stick that on. If there's some kind of a flat surface there, it's going to help keep this in there without it, because of these usually these USB cords are, cords are kind of heavy, and it'll pull on it and it might pull out. But here's a look at the charger itself, 65 watts on this one. And it's going to obviously uh, intelligently distribute that over these three different ports. One USB-A, two USB-C power delivery. Build quality is very nice. Uh, good material here. Not sure if this is plastic or metal. And then you got your folding plug, of course. It is only up to 65 watts, so probably mostly like tablets, uh, very like ultralight notebooks, and of course smartphones. And I'm not sure if you're going to read all of the information here on the end of the plug. Basically, shows how the power is distributed. But if you guys are interested in all the numbers, here is what is written in the manual in terms of the distribution of the 65 watts over the two or three ports. Okay, so now we're taking a look at the 737. So pretty similar, uh, three ports here, two USB-C, one USB-A, but this one goes up to 120 watts instead of 65 watts. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger, of course, to uh, do the additional power output. Not sure what happened to the box here. It looks like Amazon put a sticker or something on here, got ripped off. And on the side of the box here is how the power is distributed across the three ports. All right, so in the box, you get the charger itself. You get, again, another one of these little adapters, but I think obviously this one's bigger for this size compared to the, yeah, it's definitely bigger than the 65 watt charger. These little adapters are different sizes. But yeah, here's a look at it. Two USB-C and one USB-A, 120 watts power delivery. 
You got your foldable plug, of course. Pretty nice. And for size comparison, 65 watts here on the left, 120 watts here on the right. I think 120 watts is definitely going to be a lot more useful for those of you guys that um, have uh, notebooks and stuff. And you can see the size difference here between the two models. But you know, I remember just not that long ago before this gallium nitrate technology came out, 65 watt adapters were actually bigger than this 120 watt adapter and the 100, 100 watt adapters were way bigger than this one. So definitely this technology makes this stuff smaller, more efficient, lighter. So definitely a good thing all around. All right, here's the last thing to check out, the 733 power bank. So I think this basically combines the 65 watt charger and a power bank together into one unit. And they kind of have been doing this with a lot of their products where combining features like power strips with chargers and in this case, a power bank with a charger. So obviously it's gonna be bigger than this one, but the power up, it's gonna be the same as 65 watts. All right, so here's everything that came in the box. And you get your user's guide, of course. Get a little booklet here. I think this is just uh, safety information, nothing that significant. Uh, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable. You get this little um, carrying bag, little pouch. It's um, nothing super special, but you can stick your power bank in here for transportation. And here is the power bank itself. And this one comes with a folding plug as well. Pretty nice. Again, 65 watts here, power, uh, USB-C power delivery and one USB-A. And the build quality, again, uh, very nice on all of their stuff. I have really no complaints about their build, build quality. It feels very solid, doesn't feel cheap. The, the, the foldable plug here snaps into place, doesn't look like it'll buckle very easily. Let's see, I turn this on. So you press, you know, if you press the button there, it shows you the level of charge. Looks like there's four out of four. And for those of you guys that are into the numbers, here's the cell capacity, 10,000 milliamp hours on the power bank. You're gonna get 65 watts total across the three ports. And so uh, if you're wondering, it is passed through charging. So obviously you plug this into the wall, it would charge the internal power bank at the same time, also providing output power on these ports here. And then obviously when you're just using in power bank mode, um, I'll, I'll put 65 watts across these ports uh, without it being plugged into the wall at all. Anyway, yeah, pretty uh, cool products here from Anchor. I'm definitely looking forward to using these. Um, I'll definitely have some updates later if I run into any issues, but for the most part, all the Anchor products that I've had in the past have worked really well, so I'm not really too concerned about their quality control or their reputation. That's, I think, uh, they're pretty well established based on past history over the last several years, and they are definitely making a lot of very good and interesting combination of products here. This is some stuff that I hadn't you know, even considered, and they're kind of putting these together in some unique ways. Check out the uh, links to all these in the video description and then on their Amazon store, they're gonna have obviously some other ones in some different combinations. So if you don't see something that you like here, I'm sure that they'll have something in a little bit of a different combination and maybe something with maybe more capacity, more power, etc. If you don't need as much, maybe something even smaller. So they have a wide variety of uh, different power products out there. So check out their store and the links down in the video description. That's gonna do for this one. Got any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.